Hello Collectors, today I'm just going to make a quick video on what game passes you should buy for Lumion Legacy and uh, pretty much say if it's worth getting or not. So we're going to start off with Rally Charm. Uh, so it's far on a Robux, it allows you to get 9 Lumions from the Rally Ranch instead of 3. Overall, I think it's pretty much worth it, especially if you're trying to get like PvP Lumions and stuff, just because it basically allows you to get a lot more and you can do a lot more with your Rally Ranch show producing. Because once you reach 3, that's it. Once you reach 9, that's it. But if you have 9, then you can spend a lot more time doing something before you have to check back on your Rally Ranch and not theoretically lose potential Lumions, in a sense. Uh, the next one is the Roaming Charm, which I believe also works with Corrupts as well. And it's 450 Robux, so just over $5 if you're using that in uh, how much money you have to make, which I don't know why it's not 400 in my opinion. It should be 400 Um But that one, would I say it's worth it? Probably yes. Um... Pro what I mean by probably yes is if you're gonna be hunting and like grinding trying to get a bunch of rare lumians I would say yes it's worth it if you're just gonna be like a casual player I would say no um, that's just because it's if, would you have to spend more than you have to spend ten dollars to get it uh, you have robux left over afterwards of course but you have to spend ten bucks to get it and I feel unless you're gonna be like actively trying to grind and hunt lumians it's not worth it um, overall so experience boost, I say it's worth it, because currently in the battle system, only your two bench Lumion and the Lumions that went into battle get EXP. The, for 50 Robux experience boost, which you can spend $1, or $1 on the ro mobile app, so you could spend $6 on the roaming charm, but you can basically get $1 experience boost, and that way everybody in your party gets the experience, which I feel is definitely worth it for everyone, including casual players. Actually, I think it works better for casual players, just because they don't have to move to the bench and stuff. Um, for Lumion Care, 50 Robux, you get 50 boxes instead of 8. I Again, that's very worth it, especially if you're going to be like trying to hunt and collect and stuff. And also just as a normal player, because your boxes do get filled out very, very, very quickly. And I feel it's always worth uh, going ahead and grabbing. Next up, Ability Charm. This one allows you to run into secret abilities in the wild and makes them more common. Is this worth it? In my opinion, no, unless you're rallying for PvPs. Reason being, no matter what kind of essay you run into the wild, it's not going to be worth it. Um, only times it'd be really worth having an ability charm is trying to rally secret abilities and trying to get secret ability fossils. But if you're just a casual player, then I definitely would not get the ability charm just because it's not worth it at all uh, for 350 Robux unless, like I said, you're a PvP player. Advanced stat viewer? Depends. If you're a PvP player, 100% must get, and it's very cheap. If you're just a casual player, it doesn't really matter um, at all. But it still would be very, very, very helpful to get, especially if you want to become a PvP player. But overall, basically just lets you to see what your TP stats are, more advanced up in your UPs and stuff, which I believe you can still see the 5-star or 7-star system. But overall, would it be worth it? I'd say definitely if you're a PvP player, but if you're a casual, you don't need it because you can get 5 of a horrible UP Pokemon or Lumion. Gleaming Charm, uh -huh. if, again, if you're going to be hunting stuff, it's worth it. If you're a casual player depends i mean if you want to have like an alpha gleaming or something you can get one pretty cheap but still running into an alpha gleaming still feels pretty nice so uh at least before you're rich <laughs> um overall is it worth it if you're hunting again yes just because it's so good uh for increasing your rates like gammas and stuff but overall boosts are better um so ultimately if you're collect like trying to collect stuff or grind stuff again i'll get it but if you're just a casual player, unless you want to increase your shiny odds, I wouldn't get it. And then for Bovin's Bait, which unlocks Bob's Pond, is it worth it? I mean, I really haven't used Bob's Pond a lot at all. Uh, do I think it's worth it? If you want the Goppies, yes. But ultimately, you don't see the Goppies really being traded at all, and you don't see them being used. Uh, the only thing you can really get from it would be the Goppy Saddle. And even then, I see most people run the Metronet, the Duskit, the Met uh, what's his name, Cosmior, and the Trumbull. Uh, so I don't really see anybody run... The Goppy. So if you want something kind of cool and rare, then I guess you could get the Goppy Saddle. But ultimately, do I think it's worth it? No. Uh, 50 Robux, probably yes, but definitely yes, sorry. I would For 50 Robux, I feel it's worth it, especially since you get like, a custom saddle and stuff. And I think you get some boost tokens, but overall, is it worth it? I would say no. Uh, no, it's not worth it. So that's pretty much all the all the game passes that Lumion Legacy has to offer. If you guys agree with what I said, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know which ones you're going to be buying or which ones you won't be buying. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.